Welcome to Channel 6 Scoreboard Special Edition, My Fountain Online. I'm Courtney Howard with Lee Hogan and A.J. Harper. Um, now, after the win against Sam Houston State, um, is UCA now the team to beat? Uh, I would say that they're the team to beat um, in the conference, especially after showing that they could come from behind against such a good team. I would say that they're not the only good team in the conference and that they're going to run the table, but I would certainly say that they're at the top of the pack. Uh, they can control their own destiny, um, you know, facing off against some of the tougher opponents left on their schedule. Yeah, I definitely think they're the top team. Like you said, they control their own destiny now with that winning at San Houston State, but they can't expect to just go into to every game and win. There's still a lot of teams this week against Stephen F. Austin and a couple weeks down the road in McNeese State. Both road games, both very talented teams with a lot of returning guys, so they have to be prepared week in, week out. Okay, well, with the game against Stephen F. Austin, I feel like it's going to be battle of the quarterbacks. I mean, Winrick Smothers versus Brady Attaway. Mm -hmm. I mean, who's going to have the better game? I think both, you can expect both to have big games. I mean, I think both have thrown for around 300 yards. I know Brady Attaway has in all of his games. So, I mean, expect big games for both, but I think Winrick will have the edge just because his team is going to win. Uh, Attaway, it, it's a pass-happy offense. He'll be able to yeah, – I wouldn't be surprised if he has bigger stats at the end of the night, but I think Winrick has the better game because his, his team is able to get the win at the end. Yeah, I mean, I hate to sound like I'm repeating exactly what Lee's saying here. <laughs> but you but, are. Uh, yeah, I mean, w exactly. I think that everybody knows that Brady Attaway is a good quarterback mm -hmm. and he's going to throw all day long, and mm -hmm. he's going to have good numbers regardless. Um, the key is going to be can Winrick Smothers match those numbers or close to match those numbers on fewer opportunities and give himself more opportunities to scramble and give his uh, teammates – opportunities to get in the rhythm of the game as well, you know, establishing a run game. So I, I, I think that Winwick will probably win the battle simply because, as you said, the team, in my opinion, will win. Um, but I think Brady Attaway on paper might look a little bit better. Okay, well, let's get some real quick score predictions of this Saturday's game. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say it's going to be 38-28 UCA um, will come out with the win. I just think that this this defense, it, it's a bend but not break mentality. Um, they will be able to stop them when they need to. Mm -hmm. uh, limit drives, stop drives, whether it's turnovers or what. I, I think that they'll, the defense will find a way to pull it out. And with Winrick Smothers at quarterback, so dynamic running and passing the ball, I think that he's going to have a great day with his top three receivers. I agree. I think UCA will win. Uh, I think it's going to look uh, similar to the uh, Murray State game for UCA fans or, earlier this season. Like you said, I agree with the bend but don't break with, with the UCA defense. Uh, I think UCA is going to be able to get some points on the board but and, and keep Stephen F. Austin off the, bo off the board at the same time. Uh, expect UCA 42, uh, Stephen F. Austin 28. Okay. okay, well thank you AJ, thank you Lee, and thank you for watching Channel 6 Scoreboard Special Edition, My Fountain Online.